Okay, so I've got a RN2903 device connected now via USB to serial, via this connection method, USB to serial, either micro USB serial tunneling through to the UART of the of the module, or I've got a USB to serial converter talking to the RN2903 module. Let's see if we can find now. Get the LoRa Dev Utility to try and find the device. So it's scanned, it's scanned around and it's found the device. And here it's found the serial number and the date that the this program that the uh, module was created, the firmware, the firmware date, and you can see RN0. Now let's when I click on it, it will join. And so now this module is joined in this uh, software. We know the module, so we can hide this now because we know what the module is. Okay. And so the type of uh, configuration for the Laurel module is set in here. You can see there's quite a bit of information. There's also a little bit of hidden information here uh, and down here uh, a little bit later on to look at some extra commands and you can see that the firmware information here is the same here. So we can pull this console down even further. That's as far as we can go. Okay. So when joining the network, we're only going to talk about today uh, ABP where you have a physical join. You will need the network keys from the network operator such as GeoWAN. You'll need the application key from the network operator such as GeoWAN and you'll also need a dev advice and then you'll need to save those commands into the module that will save it into non-volatile memory now we're going to go I'll just close this one up here a little bit there's some tabs at the tap the tabs at the top here configuring the device and then the next one we're going along is the Mac channels. We don't really need to use the FCC or the radio at all for any of our work, but we are uh, for firmware updating. If you want to firmware update the modules later, you may use this tab for firmware updating the module. So the Mac channels are most important, and for GeoWAN, they use the first zero to seven channels. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. But if you look on here at the moment, all the channels are on, uh, so all the channels, uh, some are on and some are off. So to configure the the channels for GeoWAN, only the first seven are on, and if you see if I go to eight, they're off. So you can manually turn them off and on by this dot here. Turn it on, turn it off. Um, there's a quicker way to clear all the channels and make all the channels and that is to maybe disable all channels and then enable only eight and that will enable the first eight um, or you can manually configure the channels now the data rate is set by the network operator in this case GeoWAN have said their data rate is from 0 to 3 and you can see on the side on the command so as we change channel let's go to channel uh, zero. I'll just clear this again. Okay, go on to and then go to channel zero. You can see for the channel when we go to go to channel two, we get the data. We can see that the that the data rate is zero and three, which matches zero and three here. Um, and the channel status, and you can see the channel is on. The channel is on here again. For GeoWAN, there is only eight channels, zero to seven. So they they're looking pretty good. And then all the other channels must be off. As you can see, uh, channel 18 is off, and all the way down to you know, channel 63. You can see channel 63 is off. If I turn it on here, you can see it's on, but for our purposes, we only need the first eight channels. And as you said, all the first eight channels are on zero to seven channels on and the data rate from zero to seven 
so correction zero to three is the data uh, modulation schemes. So back to Laura Wan, it's done all the changes. Uh, now again, I won't put in my keys, you'll put in your keys here given to you by the network operator. And then don't forget any changes, you've got to hit save. And when you hit save, it'll do something like max set all the keys, max save, OK. Now the keys are zero because I don't have anything in them at the moment. But obviously if you put keys in, then you need to make sure you hit save. Now once you set those things up and you've hit the join button, uh, if you have a gateway that you're connecting to, you can hit the join and it will pretend to do a join the network. So Mac join ABP mode, it will go OK. Uh, even though you may not have a gateway, but it's pretending to join. Now if you want to send a, um, a single command, uh, say on you have a port so pick an arbitrary port number say 125 and then you want to send some ASCII data hello and then obviously we knew the data rate was 0 to 3 well at this time we'll send it on 3 and then the power index 5 means that is maximum power 20 dBm, 100 milliwatts. So when I send, when I configure these and I hit send, you can see it does a MAC command, MAX transfer, unconfirmed transmission on port 125, and I've converted the hello word hello into uh, hexadecimal numbers, and they're sent as hexadecimal numbers over the air. And it said OK. Now, if you do a, let's change a different port number, let's change 513, too many, oh, that's right. if you do uh, two, four, se uh, too many numbers, so if we go 1, 2, 5, and we can set the power index large, if we do confirm transmission and there's no gateway to acknowledge it, look what happens when we try to transmit an unconfirmed transmission. At this stage you'll see uh, that retransmission attempts will be seven and some of these are normally default. So if I try and transmit that packet now you won't see this but it will be trying to transmit seven times. And if I try and transmit again while it's to re retry you'll see that it won't, it'll get an error because there's no gateway to respond to acknowledge a confirmed transmission. And you can see the link failed because we haven't got a confirmed transmission. And we can just scan. We found the module. And all of these commands are here are the ASCII commands that you would normally send to the module. This I can do in TerraTerm um, or, and so on. I can show you, for example, uh, on this one here, let's have a look. You can see the power is set to 8 here, naturally here. But if I do an, uh, an unconfirmed transmission, look what happens when I do it, when I send it. Oh, it's having a bit of a crash there. Let's try it again. One, three, five is the port and the data. I'll put in data uh, QWERTY. Oh, it's got to be ASCII. So it's ASCII and data rate zero. We like data rate three because it's faster. And you can see it's changed the data rate here as an ASCII command. So these commands here are what are uh, the monitoring of the serial port. And so if we transmit that with ASCII unconfirmed and we send it, we see MAC transmit unconfirmed packet 
we transmitted okay. Because there's no confirmation, it will say okay. But again, I just want to repeat, these are the ASCII commands. So if I do a get, when we powered on the unit, we did a whole lot of get, we did some synchronizing, we got the channels. These are commands like get relay one. So what I can do is I can close out of this dev utility. And I can find Terra term. Just finding Terra term now. Terra term. Oh, too fast. I clicked too fast. So set up serial port. There's only COM8. We know it's the board rate as we said before. N81 go OK. The other thing we have to do for the terminal program is when we transmit a new line, we need to do a carriage return on line feed. So hopefully now I'm connected to the terminal module. Yep, I'm connected to the module there. Now if I send a command, I'm just going to turn on I'm going to turn on local echo so you can see what I'm typing here. And I'm just going to send a command here. I'm just going to send um sys get v e r. And you see it got the uh the version of the software of the unit. Now let's do some other commands such as um, mac get power p uh, idx mac gets power. You can see the power is set to 8. So maximum power we can go mac Set P W R I D X five and it said okay and we can go back and look at it. Um, I wonder if I can just set the terminal characteristics here. If we make it larger. Make the font a little larger. Make it twelve font. Okay, there we go. So I did, again, I just did system get ver, and it gave me the version of the file name of the of the firmware. Um, there are other ones, other modules. I'll just stop there for the moment. There are other commands. I'll go through some more commands in just a moment.